hi there scorpio this is your june 2020 love monthly forecast reading if you guys have the sign of scorpio in their sun moon and rising sign this is the reading for you so june just like what i say to every sign is a very interesting month and a lot of people might actually find the month very slow because of all of the retrograde planets happening in the skies and of course venus is also invisible and this is going to be affecting a lot of people in terms of their relationships as well and for many of the signs uh, some people might get confused and might you know change their minds and sometimes you know some form of heart strings are going to get pulled in you one way or another especially as the past brings back memories and maybe scars all at the same time now let's see what's going on for you guys in terms of your love life and relationships just a reminder that this is a general reading so it may or may not really tune in and connect to each and every scorpios out there especially that you know we do have a lot of scorpios all around the world so um yeah thanks for understanding and let's go on with the reading now the first card here that we have is the empress card and it's being crossed over by the ace of ace of cups so this is actually a really good combination because it's basically telling us that right now there is actually something that makes you feel good that makes you feel happy and you feel that you know you're getting a lot of healing <laughs> you're receiving a lot of healing a lot of goodness and a lot of blessings in life there's actually a lot of good things happening in your life with this energy and you might feel as if you know um some form of twist of fate is actually happening in your favor at this time but i also kind of feel that because we do have this side card over here it makes me feel that you know it there is that energy as if things are very happy in your life and that things are working out in your life but at the same time there are also things that seems very disappointing but i feel that what is disappointing in your life is actually non-existent anymore because whenever we get this card this is you know the point we're in you were disappointed from past events in your life it means that at the present moment maybe you're not really disappointed anymore but it's like deep in your heart there are things that you regret and maybe you're thinking about them again that kind of thing maybe your emotional scars from the past is preventing you to move forward with your life and with your relationships all at the same time this could be a form of guilt you know maybe you're guilty about something you did or you didn't do in the past and even though that things are actually pretty much picture perfect in your life right now or you, you're getting a lot of opportunities um that seems like blessings in your life it may feel as if you know um, something is not entirely making you happy now again this is this could be manifesting in that area or this could be manifesting wherein um you feel that you know you love you're focusing on loving yourself more and now you feel that you are a lot more ready to face the future and to let go of the past completely that kind of thing in our recent past we do have the judgment card over here and it, we do have the three of of clover all at the same time so you you did a lot of reflection in the past and you tried to move on you tried to do your best to you know settle things that you need to settle on and maybe at this time maybe you are now focusing on a new relationship a new partnership in your life that is you know one of the possibility or maybe you're now thinking about entering a new relationship and for some of you guys maybe you're thinking about trying to connect with someone maybe from the past but i kind of feel that because we do have this page uh four of spade 
and the I card it's like you have a certain relationship in your mind but you cannot really move forward with it something is holding you back and we do have the six of pentacles along to the milady card so there is some form of unfairness or is it fair or not fair to do this kind of thing it's like for some of you guys maybe you wanted to talk to someone to apologize to someone whatever you are feeling right now whatever is feeling you down you feel that you're ready to talk to someone but for some reason you're not doing it you you are you know hesitating maybe you have a lot of fears maybe you are fearing that you know that things doesn't work out you are feeling maybe that you might get rejected those kinds of things and on a, of course this is happening on different <laughs> kinds of scenarios so i'm trying to give you guys different kinds of um, setups on how this might manifest this could also be a situation we're in maybe a new relationship is being offered to you but at the same time you are hesitating whether to accept this or not um, maybe because of your past experiences you are afraid to move forward with that relationship there's a lot of emotional scars in you that is somehow hard to heal and this is also frustrating you and frustrating the relationship that you have right now in the near future event we do have this death card showing up and i kind of feel that this is more of a and this is not manifesting in a very negative way because of we have this child card of the new beginning so there is you know something can really transform in your life maybe a new relationship can be brought about with this phase in time this could be a new relationship or maybe you will be able to transform an old relationship to you know set the deal to seal the deal all those kinds of things you know especially if you are able to cross the bridge to to apologize to fix things that you were not able to fix before you know to improve some form of relationship can occur it does show us here that you do want to move forward and there is really something in the past that you need to let go whether you are going back to someone or you're trying to move on from the past there is really something that you got to let go and maybe it is something that you need to forgive yourself for forgive yourself for doing something for not doing something whatever you do whatever you do not do uh, you need to for forgive yourself from it or forgive someone in the process it does show us here that you do have the four of cups you know surrounding the energy that there is really something that was left unsaid something maybe with a with a with a partner because we do have the reunion card out of it you're really thinking about someone from the past and if it's not someone maybe a relationship from the past is really in your mind at this time so i kind of feel that this is a point we're in if you are thinking about saying something to someone you really got to do it so that you don't have any regrets but i kind of feel also that within the month of june you will be a lot busy with really evaluating what you should do should i talk to this person should i not and you now have an opportunity to talk to that person so i kind of feel that if you really want to to say something this is the time to do it and you have the hangman as the outcome card of the reading so this could be a situation wherein you need to see things on a different perspective this time around as well as it has the book card so and and the jack of hearts so you know maybe this is the moment wherein you are going to see a lot of truth a lot realize a lot of things maybe it's like that that message of realizing who is actually there for you every day from realizing who has always been there for you you know so there is a sense of value of who really loves you who really treasures you who will do 
everything for you you know you you are getting to see what true love is all about this is something that you probably did not see before or maybe you refuse to think about before you refuse to think to to see it with your own eyes you know maybe you're trying to be more logical with certain things so it could be a very frustrating for some scorpios out there especially if you are living a life of regret you know if you if you break broke up with someone or you you, you left someone for whatever reason this could be a time for a frustration because you are trying to build up some form of communication that you cannot build up anymore because of whatever situation that you have done or have not done those kinds of things so this is a month of realizations you know there is a, a form of energy here as if there's a lot of opportunities being pr presented to you but at the same time there's also a lot of regrets in store here is you m a lot of you guys might be dwelling so much on what you have lost and i hope that it's not always the case for a lot of you guys and this is a time for you to actually move forward with your life you know it's time for you to realize your own mistakes and to make amends out of them make amends out of them and on another aspect this is about you you know maybe some of you guys are now onto a new relationship or about to enter a new relationship but uh, there's really something within the month of june that makes you hold back maybe there is an energy of okay i need to think again maybe i'm not ready maybe i suddenly want to go back to the past you know there's a lot of things that is making you uneasy about moving forward that is definitely the energy that we are seeing over here um the only thing i can say though that this is going to be a very transformative time to a lot of scorpios out there because this time around i kind of feel that you know you are going to be acting upon what your heart is truly telling you so you are not the, in the point wherein you are just going to accept everything um because you think it will feel good this time around you are going to be valuing emotional connection um what is truly worthy what is truly of value those kinds of things are going to be really really important for you during this time and for some of you guys you know i do see some a lot of you guys are going to be praying and wishing for some form of miracle to occur in your life just make sure though that um you're looking into your emotions in a very authentic level and you're not gonna suddenly change your mind after the retrograde phase because that's the thing with retrograde it's like you're suddenly looking back into the past and wanting to go back to the past and then after the retrograde phase you realize that ah uh, okay i really don't want this person in my life and then suddenly change your mind the retrograde phase is there for you to reflect and reconsider things maybe go back to all of those feelings for you to know if you should be really um for you to it's like life is making you reflect on the decisions that you're making if they are the right decisions or not so it's like you know just a double check kind of thing it's not telling you to go back to the past it's telling you it's more of reminding you if did you really made the right decision or not it's really more on that and whatever result of that answer that is something that you are going to find out for sure for the month of june so um yeah the hangman is going to be creating a lot of thoughts in your mind definitely this is not the time for you to jump into decision making because for sure um you're you might not be entirely happy of your own decisions if you push forward with with that there's really something that you need to reflect first and it's not the time for you to be impulsive and i feel that you're not going to be impulsive about this because you are really going to treat this very emotionally as much as you can so there is problems in communication but i feel that f due to the frustration 
you are going to try to resolve this and try to make a connection at the end of the day and make a decision that is actually best for you and the other person involved as well again we do have the fourth house active here the fourth house is our own foundation about our own feelings our own emotions what feels comfortable to us what feels happy to us what m makes us feel emotionally satisfying all those kinds of things and the libra is also present here and the jupiter the sign of jupiter and it's jupiter and the sign of libra basically so and and jupiter is all about you know moving forward and expanding and libra is more about okay let's see here the, the relationship we want everything balanced and remember jupiter uh libra is also um ruled by saturn so there's really something official that you need to fix you know you you need to be more serious in terms of it in terms of your relationship this is not about being happy and being emotionally fulfilled and satisfied alone there is really something that you need to work on here and you know it is it, it gives me that kind of energy you know it gives me that feeling and reminding me that the phrase of the one that got away and i don't know what you guys are gonna do about that but i i know that by the end of the month you will have some form of answer and settle your issues of if the past should be in the past or should you bring the past to your present and move forward to the future if there are still opportunities for that so um yeah this is definitely a month that you should be thinking about scorpio and i'm sure that you are going to grow and you know really transform your personal life and your love life as a whole as you move forward with the month thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i hope that this reading has given you insight and clarity to your situation again this if it does not make sense then it's probably not making sense to you and this is a reading that will resonate for those that only you know feel connected to the reading so um yeah and again if you'd like a more personal reading that fits your own situation specifically for you you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month bye